let's work with special factoring formulas here. For example, let's factor this expression. Now this is what we call the difference of two squares. In other words, this is actually equal to 8u quantity squared minus 5 squared. So it's the difference of two squares. And in this type of situation, there's a special formula that can help us factor this. And the formula is that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b times a plus b. And let's think about why this is true. Let's foil the right-hand side here. We'd have a squared plus ab minus ba minus b squared. But ab and ba are the same by commutativity, so they'll cancel here. And we're just left with the left-hand side. Okay, let's apply that here with a equal to 8u and b equal to 5. In other words, this is equal to a minus b or 8u minus 5 times a plus b or 8u plus 5, which would be our answer. All right, let's see another special formula. Let's factor this expression. Now this is what we call a perfect square. And there are special formulas here as well. And the formulas are that a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b quantity squared or a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a minus b quantity squared. Again, we can verify these formulas by foiling out the right-hand sides. However, we'll just do that with the last one here. a minus b quantity squared. This means a minus b times a minus b, which is equal to a squared minus ab minus ba and then plus b squared. And ab and ba are the same, so we'll have two of them. which is the left-hand side here. Now a tip-off that our expression might be of this form is that both the first term and the last term are perfect squares. That is, this is equal to 2x quantity squared minus 20x and then plus 5 squared. Now if this middle term here 20x is equal to 2 times the product of this and this, then it's going to be of this form. And sure enough, this is equal to 2 times 2 times 5 is 20. So this is 20x. And because of this negative here, We'll be using this second formula down here. In other words, this is of the form a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, where a is equal to 2x and b is equal to 5. Therefore, by this formula, this will factor into a minus b quantity squared, or 
2x minus 5 quantity squared. Now, sometimes it's hard for students to recognize these perfect square forms. If you didn't notice that this was of this form, you could have factored in other ways and you would have gotten to the same answer. But it is very useful if you can recognize these forms. Let's see another one. Let's factor this expression. Now this is what we call a sum of two cubes. In other words, this is equal to 2x quantity cubed plus y squared quantity cubed. And again, there's a special formula in this case. And the formula is that a cubed plus b cubed factors into a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. Now there's also a formula for the difference of two cubes. And although we're not going to be using it here, let's write it anyway. It states that a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. Notice on this first formula, we have a plus here and a plus here, but a minus here. Whereas on the second one, we have a minus here and a minus here, but a plus here. Again, we can verify these formulas by multiplying out the right-hand sides, but let's just show that with the first one here that we're going to be using. That is, we have a times a squared minus ab plus b squared and then plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared which is equal to a cubed minus a squared b plus AB squared plus BA squared minus AB squared plus B cubed. And the minus A squared B and plus A squared B will cancel, as well as the AB squared and minus AB squared. And we're left with the left-hand side of our formula, a cubed plus b cubed. Okay, so let's apply that here with a equal to 2x and b equal to y squared. So by our formula, this is equal to a plus b or 2x plus y squared and then times a squared, which is 2x quantity squared, minus a times b, and then plus b squared, or plus y squared squared, which is equal to 2x plus y squared times 4x squared minus 2xy squared plus y to the fourth, which would be our answer. So it's very useful to be able to recognize these special factoring formulas. They could help you out a lot. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.